All right, so here's part two. <clears throat> in part one, we uh, figured out how to <clears throat> use a, um, a, a roof pitch and a slope and kind of figure out where your ridge is going to be from the top of the house, carry that down to the front, um, <clears throat> move over to the adjacent side, project that roof pitch, um, from the adjacent side over to the front. And then now what we're going to do is um, <clears throat> give ourselves the information we need to complete the roof plan. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to go ahead and uh, make a line from the intersection of the ridge and the slope um, back to that intersection up to the ridge. <clears throat> and this is pretty straightforward. These two lines are not part of the roof. These are just lines to connect me from the roof right here up until, you know, the, the intersection right here. So I need to undo because I don't know what I just did. But um, <clears throat> at this point, I should probably just kind of grab whatever is correct which that is, and that is, and that is, and that is, um, <clears throat> and just note them as correct. So now what I need to do is simply connect the dots. And what I'm going to do is go from the outside of my fascia board to this connection, right? This corresponds to the end of the ridge, beginning of the slope. And then corresponds back on this side in the same way to the end of the uh, fascia or soffit, okay? Um, <clears throat> so this is what was confusing about this house is that I have this weird notch, and I can do this one really pretty straightforwardly, bring it out to there. But here's the, the issue with this house is that, like, that's not right that's not right that's not right it really needs to be out here in space okay and you can see autocad is trying to match it and that's great um but if it didn't then what i want to do this is an area where if i was a uh, general contractor or a builder i would literally be calling the architect to say are you sure you want me to do this do you want me to make this notch in the building because this is a, actually a very costly um, thing to do is, you know, you're taking, instead of look at on this side where you have one outside corner, um, when you go to do this, you have one, two, three corners to do, um, which makes quite a bit of difference in your, um, your cost in the house. So what I would do um, is probably connect this and I would, I would, as the, uh, builder, like I said, call the architect and say, well, if you don't need it, that is, you know, finished square footage, could I just put like a post in and <clears throat> continue this to the outside, um, and make a good reason for it. <clears throat> but, um, what I'm going to do is just connect this arbitrarily figure out who cares what the uh, architect or the builder says right now this has to land where it does we have to maintain this geometry on the right and left side of the house to make it a true hip roof um, regardless of what they say in here all of this is a question mark in this area okay every bit of this little notch is a question mark but we're going to come back to it um but what we know is that these are now just lines to get us into the place. Okay. So those go away. And then what we also know is there is no ridge going beyond the end of this hip rafter, this hip rafter, the actual ridge of the house in this location right here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so now we have, we've properly orchestrated at least the main element of the ridge of our home um, on a roof plan, which is great. 
And then what we can do is all of these little ins and outs. Um, I was really focused right here in this video on this in and out. Um, but we have one that's real easy to figure out, which is right up here, which is in this little bump out area, right? Which is this bump out area. And that's a real easy one to figure out. So we can come back to that and, um, and go from there.